Hi everyone, it's Gail. Thanks for joining me for a little journal with me uh, video today. I'm going to catch up on my junk journal friends um, journaling and this is where I incorporate uh, people's artwork and fun things that they've made into my journal that they've sent me in happy mail. So first, before we get started, I'd like to say hi and hugs to a few folks from out of the U.S. So Chanel from the U.K., Margin from the Netherlands, Layla from Norway, and Eve from Switzerland. Thank you all so much for being a little part of my junk journal community and and you know it's just so cool that we can communicate clear across the world with this this medium of YouTube. It's awesome. So, you can see I have a mess on my desk. <laughs> so, where I'm at is um I have filled up two journals. I'll show you. I'll, I have them over here on the table. So this is the first one that I filled up. And this was a journal I purchased from Gina at the Rebookery and filled it up with lots of goodies from my junk journal friends. So I filled that one up. <laughs> and then I purchased this one from Diane Shaw at Shawcraft One on Etsy and My Old Barn Door on, no, Shawcraft One on YouTube, My Old Barn Door on Etsy. This one from her, again, filled it up with all the goodies from, from Junk Journal Friends. Lots, lots of fun stuff in here as well. So this one's full too. I mean, seriously, they're more than full. Look, they're kind of alligator mouths. So that one's full. So I had taken a bunch of pages out of those um, and put them in this Better Harms and Gardens garden book. And mostly what I took out were things that were just little keepsakes that I had my own artwork, different, um, different things that I had made. And so that's what I took out. It looks like they're kind of right here. So all these pages are pages that I had to remove from the other books. <laughs> because I filled them up with all the yummy goodies. So I have lots of pages here to work with and, oh, but there's more. <laughs> and I have these pages too, these things and pages too. These are, I believe, mostly the original pages from um, the Better Homes and Gardens book. Okay, so that's where I'm at. I have two full books. This book is kind of halfway full, but I have these pages to use. To use, So I don't want to use this as my uh, Junk Journal Friends journal because it's got a lot of my own artwork and stuff. That's what I kind of think I'll keep this one as. So I grabbed, let me put that up there. I grabbed this off my shelf. I have... Um, Gosh, I have another one of these uh, Better Homes and Gardens Handyman's books that's just red like this. I have another one like this. And then I have the ones with the graphics on them. And they're way more fun. So um, I have two of the ones with the graphics. So I actually have three more handy books besides this one. So I decided, okay, I'm keeping this one for myself. And it's going to be my... Because I have piles over here, you guys. You can't... But, I guess the camera doesn't even really pick up, but I'm way behind. So I thought I'd do this before starting the December daily, um, just as kind of maybe what we do this week until I get started on the December daily. So that's what the I, the craft with me, the journal with me is going to be. So I've started taking this book apart, and I'm keeping the um, the index tabs, and I thought, before I got done, I thought, oh, I should show you how I prepare one of these five ring binders for, um, for my journal. So I have all the pages 
over here. And so I just go through and pull out the pages and pop them to the side because they can be used as bases for pages in here or they can be used in other in other books. Okay, so got those all out. Now, these things come and oftentimes they're gone, but this one still has its plastic thing here. I don't like them, so I take them out and um, I just cut through them. And then I just pull them out because usually they're grimy because these are vintage books, you know. They're usually kind of dusty and grimy. So those are out. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is wipe this book up because I'm pretty sure this is one that I found in Anaconda, Montana, and it was it was living out in a shed. <laughs> so I, I just go over it with a baby wipe and just clean it up a little bit. Yeah, there's dirt on it for sure. So I just kind of scrub it up a little bit. And then, um, then we can see this one has a copyright of 1951. So just super cool. Okay, I think these are pretty. These were decent, but I'm still going to wipe them off just to... Yeah, these are okay. I think it was just these little things at the front and back that felt a little dusty to me. So, we'll put those in. And we'll put, put the dividers back in. Because they are, they're good to create on. They're good heavy cardstock. Heavier than cardstock, really. They feel, I don't know. Okay. So now I'm just going to quickly give the outside a bit of a, a bit of a wipe. And then we'll be ready to go. And then I won't feel like when I'm crafting, I need to wash my hands all the time. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit and dry a little bit. And I'm going to go through these piles and kind of see what I have. So this was from Paula Lucas. It's an awesome little... Um, I don't know, I don't know what you call them, but a little, it opens and it's got all sorts of little pockets and stuff in it. It's, it's so adorable. She made it with book pages. So adorable. And it, it was on top of this. So I think this is from Paula too. Um, and this is fabric and lace and stuff. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use any of that. Sometimes when people send me something that's handmade, I just go ahead and put the whole Happy Mail together. So we have that one. We have Paula Lucas. I'm trying to decide where it is that I can <laughs> kind of set up for this. So I'm going to set her sideways there. Um... This is, oh, these were from Renee at Lots of Bubbles for Me. She sent this this cute tag, and she always sends this little note, so I thought about putting it in, too, and then she sent me those flowers, and so, okay, so that's a whole batch also from Renee at Lots of Bubbles. Okay, so that's another batch. And then this is from Connie Scholl. I made all this stuff. Okay. So, oh yeah, all sorts of 
fun tags and look at the look at the painting on the tea stained paper so yeah really really fun tags and things okay so that's Connie's batch okay Connie's batch let's see this is from Connie okay so this is Connie also and okay this is a new one this is a new one okay so this is Connie and then this okay so these are Liz I believe yep yep Yep, yep, these are from my friend Liz. So that's a separate one. Okay, so I'll set that there. These are, I know, are from Junie, because I just got that. Okay, and then what is, and then this is from Joanne. And... tickets and things oh here she had made she had made this little thing oh this little button thing isn't that adorable yeah this little button book okay and I put her whole happy nail in here I think um, this must be another note from her yes yes Okay, so this is Joanne. So this is a whole nother batch. Oh gosh, look at that. I'm glad I'm doing this. This will go good in the um in the December dailies. Okay. All right. So <laughs> now that I know I have two, three, four, five, six to do. So that's good. That means we'll have stuff to play with this week. Okay, I need a little drink of, of water. Okay, so let's let's look at this. Um, I think I'm going to start with Connie because she has like a medium amount of stuff, <laughs> and we'll see how we see how we do. Um, I'm going to kind of look at the colors here. Kind of pastel, but kind of bright too. Just thinking about what pages we might want for for Connie. Let's look in this one. I'm sorry, am I getting out of frame? Let me stand this one up, ish, and we'll look and see what we've got here four pages. Well, these two are really are plain, so that's kind of nice. I'm looking at this one. Some of her stuff looks like she said some of this stuff was unfinished like those are just some things that I can use. But I was just thinking about those on there. Ooh, I love that. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, such fun stuff. I think I need a pocket on hers for sure for some of these tags. Put that in there as a pocket. Okay. 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 Let's for sure. I think. Uh, oh, this one's hard to open. Goodness. <laughs> Some of them are harder than others. So this one would be good because I could use this for Connie, and then one of the ones that didn't have as much could go on this page. So. I'm liking that page for sure. Um, ones together.
Those two go really well together to me. Hum. Hum, hum, hum. Actually, I think I'm going to do this page because that looks fine with that next to it, right? Okay, let's do that because I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time uh, fussing about what color, what pages to use. Okay. I hope this gives you an idea of how you can use your um, five ring binders too. I have have some custom orders for those. I need to get onto those, but first I have to do the um, first I have to do the little golden books. <laughs> That's first, and then I'm gonna have to get onto the five ring binders. Okay, yeah, I think I think I'm liking this for my friend Connie. I'm just going to close that for now. Okay, so there is a pocket over here where I could tuck some things, but I really want to, I want to decorate with her goodies. I hope I'm in camera. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm almost thinking her strip here would be kind of fun too, wouldn't it? Okay. And then I was thinking that could go in there. And then what? It's a journaling card. Let's see. Let's see what else is here. I mean, this is so incredible. I'm just worried that as in its form here that it might rip. So I'm wondering about backing it onto a file folder or something to make it more sturdy. I think this is one that she's thinking I can fit. Oh, and then I have also her, her card because I like to have those in there too. I might need three pages for Connie because everything's big. <laughs> See, she did this too, you guys. Look at what a crazy good artist she is. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. And she wrote on the back too. So that tells me I want to keep this envelope for you know, to put the card in. So that's good to know. All right. Hmm. And then there's this, which goes awesome on that page. That actually goes really nice on that page, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. Look at this one. Isn't that so pretty? Connie, if you watch this, you're going to tell me how you did that background on there. That is so cool. Feels like this is glued on right here, but wow, that's just so pretty. Um, okay, well, I think I'm gonna put this in there. What I was wondering is if I can. Maybe that will go down far enough that I can put her name right there. I think that'll work. Okay, let's get busy. Okay, so we're going to do this as a pocket. It does have her um, signature on the back here that I'm gluing down, but I think that's okay since it's 
is for me to keep, you know. Okay. Gosh, the heater went off and it got real quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, so we'll see how the glitter art glue does here with this. I think I might need to clamp it. Gosh, if I can get a hold of them. Okay. This corner doesn't want to go down. Okay. So we can let that dry. And this tag's going to go with that. Okay. Um, what was on this side? Just that. So, could I I was thinking about punching holes in this envelope. And putting it in the book because because what I'm thinking is could I then attach a few other pieces that she's made could I attach them to the to the card that goes so great with that. What if? Okay. I think this envelope is going to come in handy. So I think what I want to do is attach a piece of paper, attach a piece of paper down here and put it in the book like that. And I'm thinking about Mod Podging this on there. because I think that would preserve it. And then I could put her other artwork on the front of here, and then I think I could get maybe everything on the, on these two pages and on this, if that makes sense. Okay, that's what I'm gonna go with. So what I need is, I need a piece of paper that would, that would look cute with that. What scraps do I have? because I want it to look nice with this. If I get that over, I think this might be okay. Okay, so I'm going to score this and fold it. So I want it to be well adhered on here but i want it to go here ish so i think right about there is where i'm going to score it okay we are we are just cooking along now okay so i think i'm gonna do that I just I just did a really bad job of scoring that. <laughs> like like it's not even I didn't even get it done. 
or it's thicker than I thought. One or the other. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so if I put that on like that, that will be there, and this can be here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I think my little creative soul needed a little play like this. I really do. I feel like this is just going to be really fun. And it'll kind of get me in mode for doing the December daily, I feel like. Um, because I've just been making journals and making journals and sometimes you need to just stop and do other creative things. Okay, so now, sorry if I'm out of frame, but I want to make sure that I don't go too far over on this. Okay, okay, that's good. I just need my template for the pages here. Oh, nope, that's not it. Doesn't work. Okay, I need my, need my punch. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll just do three punches. I'm going to put that in the middle. One in the middle. Or do I, I guess I can go either way as long as I do the three punches, right? I can decide where it's going to look the best as far as placement goes. Okay. Okay, so there we go there. Um, okay, I need to grab my Mod Podge so I can Mod Podge that tea bag on the back here. I hope that Connie doesn't feel like I'm... <laughs> I always worry that the way I'm using it isn't going to be okay with the artist, you know what I mean? But... I want to keep it forever and I'm just honestly afraid that the the way that is so fragile that I won't be able to keep it forever <laughs> if I don't do something to preserve it a little bit. And I don't think I'll go over the top because I don't know what medium she used. But if I get it stuck down, at least I feel like it will... You know, yeah. At least I feel like it will preserve it some. And just carefully place that down there. Yeah. That's good. Oh, and I love the poppy so much, Connie. That's just awesome. Stick down your little corner. Okay. Good. We're good there, I think. Okay, I'll get rid of these so they're out of our way. And I'm going to... I am going to see how this little pocket is shaping up. Seems to be dry and on there, so that's good. And so we can put this little tag in there. Yep, that's going to go down there nicely so we can put her name there. Okay. 
Um, let's see the other stuff. I kind of want to just let this dry. So, but I was thinking of putting this on there and this. Like so. Okay. And then that, I've also got this little tea bag, which is so sweet. Hmm. Maybe I, maybe I stick that down in there with the tag hanging down. That'd be cute. And yet protected. Okay, so maybe I just put these two things on there. And then over here, maybe just put that there and that's okay if that hangs over it a little bit. And then I could put maybe a couple of these little butterflies that she sent me. Okay, I think I have a plan. I think I have a plan. So, actually, what I'm going to do is put this on as a little pocket, and I can put this tea bag, pop it in here, I think. Okay, let's do that. Right. Pop that right here. And this doesn't have anything on the back. This is a like a clothing tag that she's altered. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And so then I'll just pop that right on there. Look at that. I've done all this crafting, haven't poked myself with the pin once. <laughs> oh, I had such a rough day yesterday. Oh, but your comments <laughs> tickled me, so thank you for all of those. So, yeah, then I can just pop that in there. Like that. Okay, that's cute. Let me get it up here so you can see. Okay, and then this is her card that she wrote me. So that's perfect. And then this side has her artwork on the tea bag. Yeah, okay. So I think we'll go, I think we'll go middle with this. I don't know, that was just my initial, initial thought. And then over here, we're going to put this piece on just as, just because it's decorative, but it's awesome too. I'm going to um, actually use Fabri-Tac on that because this has glittery stuff on the paper. I'm scared it won't uh, adhere if I, I still don't. Uh, know the limitations of the art glitter glue so I'm still reverting back to Fabri-Tac at some times but you know I've always used more than one glue so that's just fine and I'm going to get it over to the holes as much as I can oh boy one thing I don't love about Fabri-Tac is that volcano Okay. If they could figure out that, <laughs> it would be an amazing glue. Okay, so then these two, this doesn't have anything on the back. 
gosh, what if I adhere that as kind of a tuck and it can kind of hold that tag. I'm going to clip it, but it can kind of hold it too. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. Just give that a little on two sides since there's nothing on the back. I wanted to make sure she didn't have like artist trading card stuff on the back or something. Okay, so that goes right here. I'm gonna grab my clamps again. Just to make sure it gets on there good. Quite reach so I'll just hold it <laughs> um, and then for this I'm thinking oh, some paper clips over here I think I'm just gonna do a black if I have a black in here I do and I'm gonna tuck that under there put in this here Okay. Gosh, there's lots of room right there, too. Except I kind of want her name. Oh, I'll put those, I'll put one of those butterflies, maybe. Okay, so I want her name over here, which I need to grab my, one of my fun little things for that I use for the names. And we need to punch a piece of paper. Gosh, I just saw it. Yes. Use this. Just use this little thing. And grab my pen. Oops getting into my December daily stuff that I have over there. Okay. And then let's just move this stuff up so I can do this. Hopefully in camera. So just make sure I spell her name right. So then I'm just going to outline this a little bit so it looks more finished than it does. And then, and I've said before, when outlining something, it's good to do two lines, two jaggedy lines, rather than just one because it makes it look intentional that it's a little jiggy jaggy. Okay, so then I think I'll put her name right there. Oh, that's so fun. I'm really excited to get caught up on these. That'll be a good, good thing because December Daily's coming up and then there's just lots of... Um, I have lots of journals to make. So the other thing I'd like to do is she sent this bag of these pretty butterflies, which are awesome. Oh, they're attached together. Interesting. Where's my scissors? There they are. Okay. So I think I'll put one right here because I've got that empty space and she sent something to do it with. Let's see, these actually, I might pick my fave. I might put that right there. Move this over a skosh. Some of the decorative paper that she did right on the edge there. Oops. Got to put my pin right back in. You guys warned me about that. 
I didn't realize it would dry that quick though. Okay, pins back in. Yeah, we'll just put that right there. And that's another little decorative element on the page. Okay, this guy come over a bit. that with that. Okay, let's test the glitter glue on this um, on this piece. Since it's not her artwork, I'm not as worried about it. Fine tip is nice, I will say. Getting gluey, and despite my best efforts. <laughs> okay. We'll just set that down there because that's one of the things she gave me, and it ties nicely into that lace. All righty then. Connie, I think we got your. I think we got your page done. Yeah, and that glue's going to hold just fine on there. That's awesome. Okay, so there is Connie Scholl's pages. Need to put a little, some sort of trim on this. Maybe I'll just grab, what do I have up here? I have some, I have some pretty lace that's got, um, sequins on it. Maybe that would be fun. Up there. Okay, I'm just going to use my, oops, 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 sorry, 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 hitcha. Let's use my Tim Holtz tiny attacher. Sometimes I... <laughs> I forget you guys are there. I mean, I'm talking to you nonstop, but I still just have a moment of, oops, there's a camera right up there. Don't be knocking into it, Gail. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. So we have her name. We have her artwork. We have a beautiful tag she made. We have her lovely, lovely note. More of her artwork more of her artwork and the butterflies you know what i feel like i want is i feel like i want a little lace right down this let's do that oh my gosh i wonder if this is i love this lace but i don't know if there's enough of it oh oh my gosh it's like it was made for it sweet got some of that awesome lace from ooh la la crafts so we're gonna put that on there that's fun it's one of my favorite laces so kind of fun to have it in my own book <laughs> not that I mind at all sharing with the people who buy my journals I appreciate it um, but every once in a while it's kind of nice to keep a favorite that you can go back and look at and just enjoy Oh my gosh, I can't believe that is the perfect length. Isn't that funny? Yep, I, I like that. That's, that's nice. And then there's this page. So Connie, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful artwork with me. And I hope you like your pages. And I hope you all had fun crafting with me today. And we will just... Um, See, or actually we were journaling. So this is a journaling, journal with me, not a craft with me. 
So thank you so much. And we will just get together tomorrow and do another page. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.